Hey everyone, this is Panos from Super Sly Fox, and I want to welcome everybody back for a new series of video updates we're going to be doing monthly for our game Blockbuster Inc. moving forward. As you can see, we really added a lot of things since the last time we showcased the construction system, uh, which you will recognize also from this video. But let's talk about the additions and the features that we're going to be discussing in this video. We're going to be talking about the dynamic chart system on studios, stars and products, product creation, the set designer, the manage employees and employee teams buttons, the city map, and also the bank system that we implemented. So let's dive right in. Let's talk about the charts. So once you click the button, you will see three options and the charts are split through star, product and studio charts. Let's start with the star one. So you can see you have three categories here, actors, directors and producers. And by clicking these options, you will filter all the um, stars you will see on the screen. Obviously, you have um, some information about them. Primarily, you want to look at their salary, their fame and their primary skills. And then you want to move to the business deal, which is going to open a negotiation uh, window. And through here, you can see that we already made an offer to Zachary Alexander to move to our studio for, for a total of $5,900. And we're waiting for a response. That way you can steal um, other stars from rival studios. Moving on to the product charts. Here you will see all the available products that you can take action uh, by negotiating them and you can purchase their IPs so you can produce your own prequels or sequels based on your rival's products or you can sell your very own. And finally, you got the studio charts and here you will see all the rival studios. Obviously, we have placeholders right now for their names but you will be provided with information like their fan base, their worth, their bank, awards, etc, etc. And the action you can take here is shares, and you can buy shares of every specific company in Rival Studio if you want to eliminate them or you want to simply just make more money because you have enough to invest in them. So as you can guys see, we already got like our employees arriving at our studio set and you know they're actually just completing a movie. The actual process we're going to be discussing in a little bit, but let's first finish the filming. And once you finish the filming stage, you can then release your product. And we can see tomorrow, as in next month, we're going to have our first release. So let's actually talk about how you're creating uh, a movie or a TV show in our game. All you got to do is go down here on the product creation button. And once you open this, you got like this window with a lot of options. Now, this might seem intimidating at first, but it's actually pretty simple. Um, let's say you have hired all the people that you want first. You get to choose the product type, the genre and themes. Obviously, there's going to be much more themes eventually, but let's say we are going to do a vampire movie again. And then you have like all the product sizes, the age focus that you're going to be unlocking through the ages, uh, through the research system we're going to be implementing soon. Um, and then you assign the roles. I mean, you can assign the producer and the writers. We actually got two writers, but you can also work with movies with just like one. Obviously, the more writers and the better they are at their job, the better the movie quality will be. And then you got like these sliders, which are gonna be better implemented very soon. And you can see here on the product options, we got um, our script writing, which is like this screen right here. And this is the first phase of the product creation. And then we get to choose exactly in which sets, um, you know, we're making the movies. Um, we can also utilize, you know, custom sets that we're going to be making in our set designer. And we're going to be showcasing that in the next chapter. And then we get to pick our actors. This, uh, this specific genre, action only needs one right now. And also the directors. So then you create the product and everybody's going to be working on this movie um, as soon as their actual first work tasks are done. So now that everybody's free, they're going to be moving on to the next project until, you know, Sly Fox's return is released. All right, when it comes to the set designer, this is a new screen, a new feature that we implemented recently 
to give the players the option to design uh, through the objects down here and the themes that we have um, their own sets. Now, this doesn't give you the option to apply cameras and you know any particle effects and practical effects or anything like that yet. We're gonna show you in a bit how it's done. But let's go and dive in into the options that we have uh, within the set designer, uh, which also gives you the opportunity to upload and download other people's creations through the Steam Workshop. So we're gonna name this set a test set and obviously you have different choices here. It's gonna enlarge the whole area where you can place items, but we're gonna keep it on small right now. Uh, we can make this a stand set. So stand sets are sets that give you the ability to perform obviously stands in them, whereas it is easy, medium or high difficult stands and that depends uh, if they're gonna be successful or not on you know the actual athletic skill of your actors or stuntmen. But we can talk about this another time. And then you have like the set theme. We're gonna make this, um, let's choose um, maybe an alien one. Click yes. And let's hide these uh, placeholder models. As you can see right here, zooming in, it has now a different kind of like wall set. And we're gonna go on the alien. Some things right here. Just to showcase what's been going on. Let's say this is our set now. Um, let's save and we're gonna exit this and now within our game you can see that if we go on the build mode and click on sets we're gonna have our set right here and this can now be used um, to film any kind of things we want so this is pretty cool right all right let's see how you can you know set up the cameras we got a the chef cooking here um, let's see how you can set up the cameras and lighting and everything you need in the set so once you click it you're gonna see the set info tab and here you have like all the selections you made within the set designer and what you need to do is pay to unlock all these kind of like slots and okay let's have like a dual camera setup and then one microphone setup two lighting setup and let's unlock all the practical effects and now we have like multiple options. Obviously, each decade we have specific cameras, and some of them are gonna be more expensive than others, depending on their quality. So we're gonna pick the most expensive ones because we're cool like that. Okay, let's pick some expensive lights as well. And why not just put everything in there? So obviously, uh, look, it, it looks really cool. I know. Um, the more options you have, the more things you can unlock, uh, you know, within the product designer, and that will elevate pretty much the quality of your films. Here you can see all the employees in our in our studio. Uh, we've got three options. Obviously, we got you know a firing option if you want to discard somebody from your studio. Then we got the negotiate one, which is about negotiating, you know, the salaries of your employees. Obviously, if somebody gets more famous as they're working in your studio, they're gonna demand more money. So here you can handle that. Uh, oh, you can see, you know, their salary expectations. So right now she's, uh, Jamar Gavin is getting paid $949 and she wants $1,186. Um, so we can, we can actually see the acceptance chance. Obviously, this is gonna accept that much more money so we're gonna make the offer and she's gonna give us a response in 12 hours and then finally we got the educate button an option here and from here on you can actually choose the education focus of your uh, stars or your other employees and what this is gonna do is it's just gonna gradually increase the preferred skill set and this will also give you a better boost and, and performance of your stars and employees in their respective tasks. So it's pretty wise and important to kind of like utilize that. Once you have hired, you know, a lot of employees, it might be wise to start looking into the manage teams options. And what this does is, let's say you want to have a group of actors together so you can assign them better in specific products. So I want Jamar Gavin Hippolito Carter and Abraham Roland to be on one specific group and I'm gonna show you where this comes very handy. Let's call these for vampire films. All right, so now they're part of the actors for vampire film and what this allows us to do is let's say you want to create a new product and it's gonna be an action a vampire theme. 
you can see here assign employees from teams if we click this you're obviously gonna have the actors right here assigned in uh, in, in the slots available um, this is actually really helpful if you have a lot of employees and a lot of different products running concurrently so the city map is actually a pretty cool uh, new feature we decided to include in the game this is los ricos but split in five distinct neighborhoods and those neighborhoods are number one grid row which is the actually cheapest area you can rent in then you got downtown lr green springs vanita beach and pinnacle hills which is the highest running uh, area also the most luxurious obviously and why are there ratings and stars in each of these areas? Well, every actor you're gonna have, or every star, which includes directors or producers, they will have a specific level of fame. Let's say we wanna hire Alfred Dayron. And Alfred Dayron has a fame level one. So he will only you know, be asking us to rent him a flat, which is a level one uh, residential area. But if he had a level five fame, he would require us to rent him an apartment in Pinnacle Hills. Alright, so let's talk about the bank button down here and the options that it gives you. So the first one is going to be finances, then loans, and then studio shares. Let's go ahead and open finances for now. Okay, so what you can see here is a breakdown pretty much of the income and expenses you have every month or yearly. And you can, you know, uh, go through that through the dates and everything through the months or the years to kind of like see in retrospective what has been going on uh, you know in your studio right now all you can see is under income is movies uh, we're making profit off uh, out of Sly Fox's return and the movie number three which is in total 414,000 and then the expenses is salaries for all our uh, employees as well as some uh, bank loans that we've been uh, you know paying back Moving onwards to loans, uh, as you can see, we have already one running uh, first loan that is named. But let's go ahead and, and, and see how you take a loan here. There's a very important thing. You cannot take a loan if your balance is in the negatives. So just make sure to, you know, take a loan if you really need one uh, before this reaches a negative value. Here you can kind of like pick the, the sum that you want. Let's go and pick a quarter of a million. Um, and we're gonna pay it in 24 installments and what that's gonna change is just like the loan interest So the total payoff is gonna be uh, fairly larger Obviously, we're gonna be balancing these things as development goes by but for now, uh, it's just like a small difference Let's go ahead and take this and You can see now we have a second loan. You can have a max of three loans Let's move on and see the studio shares and what this does is it gives you the option to kind of like buy shares from different studios and that's a good strategy eventually in mid and late game to kind of like eliminate competition. So now you can see we own 22% of studio one and that's how it goes. Thank you all for tuning in. This will conclude this specific devlog and we will be posting a new one next month. So we'll see you there with more updates about Blockbuster Inc.